Okay, leaf blowers are gone, garbage trucks are gone, got a little light left. Let's film this. Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. And to the powers that be at YouTube, this is the same video type that we fought about all of last year. You demonetize it. I reply with, it fits all community guidelines. You turn the monetization back on most of the time. Can we just skip all of that? This is a shooting sport, not a shooting. It's responsible gun ownership in a family-oriented environment. Let me demonstrate. This is Jewel of the West. She's a third-generation cowboy action shooter. Hey there, Jedi. Now, most of you are familiar with the sport of cowboy action shooting. I've covered that topic and the sport on this channel since 2015. For those of you that are new here, let me give you a brief rundown of the sport. Then, if you're interested, you can go and watch a bunch more of my instructional videos. Cowboy action shooting is a competitive shooting sport that requires the use of four firearms, two single action revolvers, a lever action rifle, and a pre-1900 style shotgun. In this sport, those four firearms are used to shoot at steel targets with lead bullets on a timed shooting course with a specific shooting pattern on those targets for each stage. Missing a target is a penalty that adds five seconds to your time. Shooting a target sequence out of order is a penalty that adds 10 seconds to your time. And yes, that's simplifying this sport down to its core, but I feel like that introduction is important at this point. Now back to the focus of this episode, Jewel of the West. Her grandpa is my good part, Just Bill, and her dad is Just Bill's son, Pistol Pack and Pison, both of whom you've seen on this show before. And I introduced you to Jewel back in 2019 when she first started cowboy action shooting. And since then, I've had the pleasure of spending some more time on the range with her. Now, Jewel loves this sport and is a big fan of our show. So when she was preparing for her first big annual shooting match, the shootout at Saddle Butte, her grandpa purchased a rig for her from one of my leather makers, Slick Alec McKenzie. She was so excited about this, she filmed the unboxing for us. I just got some new leather from Slick Alec McKenzie, and we're going to go ahead and check them out. Start off with the belt for the holsters. They've got a nice buckle here. And then we have these holsters to go on them. We have a right-handed one and a left-handed one so I can shoot at gunfighter, and we also have a cross draw one for my left side. Here's the cross draw holster for right here. And here's my shotgun belt. It matches the rest of them. It has some horseshoes on it by the buckle. Holds my 38s and my shotgun shells. And I'm going to go put them on now and test them out. So with maybe a dozen local matches under her gun belt, Jewel was off with her pa and her grandpa for several days of camping on the range for a big annual match. What do you think, Jed? I got them all ready for my shoot at Saddle Butte. I'll see you there. And Jedi TV was there to capture a few of her stages to share with y'all. Enjoy Jewel of the West at the shootout at Saddle Butte. And remember, if you want to see the stage instructions for the stages Jewel is shooting, please click the eye icon in the corner of your computer or mobile device screen. Yeah. and they all stay clean. Right down the street. 
Yeah, never mind. In the main match, Jewel came in 38th place overall and first place in the junior girls category. She also competed in a few side matches like Wild Bunch. And Jewel was 14th place overall in Wild Bunch, which put her second place in the ladies' Wild Bunch category. First place went to the Night Slayer, Sandy Chong. And Jewel did quite well in some of the other side matches, but our cameras weren't rolling to catch any of the long range shooting or cowboy clays that she participated in. So be sure to give Jewel a big thumbs up by clicking that like button on her video. Then share a link to this episode on all of your social media accounts, encouraging Jewel and more young folks like Jewel to spend some quality time with their family and friends and perhaps even participate in this wonderful family sport. Of course, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel because according to some statistics I've heard on YouTube saying subscribe helps the channel grow. I don't know. I do know this is Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. It's quiet out here now. I'll let you guys enjoy the view. Well, I could start filming today's episode of Jedi TV if whoever's got the leaf blower running would stop blowing leaves. Now most of you are familiar. Now most of you are familiar with the sport of cowboy action shooting. <laughs> now they're working on this side of me. It's going to be in stereo. Stereo garbage trucks. <laughs> shooting at targets. Shooting a target sequence out of order is a penalty that adds 10. So with maybe a dozen <clears throat> and Jedi TV <clears throat> and perhaps even participate in this wonderful. Sp I almost got through the whole ending. ending done.